Look at that braised chicken. It falls off the bone. <sighs> Wow, this is unbelievable. Basque's chicken, a specialty from the Basque country, between France and Spain, at the heart of Pyrenees. This entree is one of the best known of the Southwest region. That is amazing. This beautiful dish is based on bell peppers and tomatoes. Not to mention, piment d'espelette that can be subbed for uh, chili peppers and of course onions. Cut onions and bell peppers into quarter inch slices. Good news, you can make this dish using any bell pepper you like. Green, orange, red, yellow, please yourself. As for the espelette piment, chili pepper, wear gloves when dealing with these bad boys. Mince and add it according to taste. Needless to say, go easy. Unless you live in Mexico, I bet they would sub all sweet bell peppers for hot ones. That will be named Basquez Chicken with a Mexican touch. I bet they must have something quite similar. Anyway, for the potatoes, you can either use uh, baby potatoes or larger ones that you would eventually finish into beautifully crafted potato wedges. Very easy, just turn edges into rounded shape using the tip of your paring knife. Do it just like you would follow the shape of an egg and reserve in water until ready to use. To elevate this dish, you can definitely add some Spanish chorizo. You can add it straight from the beginning when cooking your onions and bell peppers or later. Next, chicken. Separate thigh from drumstick by cutting through the joint. To French it, chop off the knuckle. It's optional. It just looks better. Do likewise with remaining chicken and save the knuckles for your next chicken stock. Let's cook our chicken basques outside in a hot sautoir without adding any fat. Dredge chicken parts first in flour seasoned with salt and give a good sear on both sides. Remove meat from the pan and saute the onions and bell peppers for about 10 minutes. Season again with some salt and throw in there garlic, thyme and bell leaf. Cook until fragrant then deglaze with white wine and reduce to dry. Add chicken back in, saffron, paprika, olives, tomatoes, and chicken stock and cook for about 40 minutes. Then add potatoes halfway through. At the end, take the lid off and finish cooking on low for a few more minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cut some bell pepper into fine brunoise. So in order to get those adorable little cubes, you're gonna have to do it that way. Cut your bell pepper in four. Remove the white membranes and seeds, square off and even out with your knife in order to get two millimeter thick squares. Cut into julienne and brunoise. I'm gonna add this and some chopped parsley, but you can add any fresh herbs you like. No brainer. To get this beautiful recipe, go to brunoalbouz.com. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my cooking channel and website. And by the way, try this out, take a peek, and tag me on Instagram at brunoalbouz. This is just going to be amazing. Bon appétit, see you soon.